we begin with terminology current assets current assets are assets that are expected to be converted to cash within a year or within an operating cycle whichever is longer current assets normally include debtors it includes cash inventories etc current liabilities are obligations which need to be met within a year or within an operating cycle whichever is longer current liabilities are obligations or debts which need to be met within a year or an operating cycle whichever is longer current liabilities would include creditors it would include outstanding expenses etc working capital is equal to current assets minus current liabilities it is the difference between current assets and current liabilities normally working capital a positive working capital ensures a sound financial health of the business we then move on to a term called liquidity which is the degree of ease of conversion of an asset to cash it means how quickly an asset can be bought or sold for cash can be converted to cash for example cash is considered to be the most liquid of assets while a building would be considered as the least liquid since it would not be possible to sell a building quickly at short notice without some loss in value current ratio is current assets divided by current liabilities an accepted standard of current ratio is 2 which suggests that current assets should be double that of current liabilities having said that it could vary from industry to industry direct cost is cost that can be identified with the product you can directly relate to the product for example if we take a cake shop there is flour sugar butter in the cake these are materials which can be directly identified with the but the cost of the telephone charges that the shop bears the cost of electricity that it has to pay the rent it has to pay cannot be related directly to each and every piece of cake those costs are not direct costs and they are in fact called indirect costs indirect costs are also known as overheads they cannot be identified with a specific product or process gross profit margin is gross profit divided by sales into expressed as a percentage this is an important ratio and measures the profitability of a company and the gp ratio of a company is often compared with other companies in the same industry a gross profit ratio of 25% would indicate that when sales was 100 they've made a profit of 25 a company making a gp margin having a gp margin of 30% would mean that it has made a profit of 30 rupees on a sale of the same amount of rupees 100 therefore higher the gross profit margin greater the profitability of a business accounting standards are certain broad guidelines which are framed 
by an approved authority in every country. For the preparation and presentation of financial statements. These ensure uniformity and therefore comparability and reliability. In fact, internationally, we are trying to have one set of accounting standards which would be followed by all countries. We are moving into what is known as IFRS or International Financial Reporting Standards, which again we will study at a later date in detail. A quick recap, current assets are assets which can be converted to cash within a year or a single operating cycle. Current liabilities similarly are short-term obligations or debts. debts Obligations which need to be met within a year or within a single operating cycle. Working capital is a relation between the two. Working capital is nothing but current assets minus current liabilities. Working cap positive working capital suggests a more healthy financial position. Liquidity is the ease with which an asset can be converted to cash. More easily that an asset can be converted to cash, the more liquid it is. Current ratio is nothing but current assets divided by current liabilities. This ratio also always expected to be more than one indicating the current assets are greater than current liabilities. Direct cost is a cost which can be directly identified with the product. Overheads are nothing but indirect costs which cannot be directly related to the product like we said rent, telephone charges, advertising, accountants fees etc. Gross profit margin is the amount of gross profit made divided by the sales expressed as a percentage. Higher the gross profit margin, greater the profitability of the business. Accounting standards are guidelines for the preparation and presentation of financial statements. Accounting standards are being framed by an approved authority in every country.